This hair is a mess. This is ridiculous. I need a haircut. Whew. and gamers what's going on guys I'm the Messiah and this is Messiah Entertainment now I'm sure you guys know everything about what's going on in E3 you know we got the indie titles we got the AAA titles we got the Xbox One compatibility we got some controllers coming out the biggest thing for me Mass Effect Andromeda for those who don't know I'm the biggest Mass Effect fan I don't know how many times I've played through the second game with just continuous playthroughs over and over and over and over and over and over again so I am an absolute fan of Mass Effect. I just need a poster somewhere around here and we'll be set. I'm super excited. But, you know, since we don't know too much about the main storyline other than we're just exploring the Andromeda Galaxy, we're going to have to discover a whole new galaxy and I guess everything that's within it, we don't really know much about the story, the characters, all that kind of great stuff. So, he, I'm just, I just felt like saying some of the things that I hope they do in the next Mass Effect game. First and foremost, I feel like they need to bring back some of our old character favorite characters that would most likely survive at least a hundred or so years into the future. And in Mass Effect, that's possible with the Asari and the Krogan. Those characters can live thousands of years, like a millennia. So if this only takes place a few hundred years later, yeah, maybe some of the human characters might be dead, but can we see maybe Liar or Samara, Rex or Grunt return? You know, can we see one of them? Can we see the descendants of some of our human characters? Can we see a little baby shepherd running around and depending on who you romance, it could be like a little blue baby of, you know, Liara and uh, Shepard running around? That would be awesome. Secondly, I feel like they need to up the ante from what they did last time. You know, the stakes were so high, the Reapers were a threat to be feared, there was nothing stopping them from reaching their goal. Everything was so desperate down to the final run to the Reaper beam. They need to raise the stakes this time, and I don't know how they're going to do it. Maybe they go into the Andromeda Galaxy and they bring back something that, you know, they shouldn't have been messing with. We don't stop you, you're going to destroy everything. I also hope they don't move too far away from, like, dealing with galactic civilization and moving more into, like, that, you know, Star Trek feel where you're exploring new places and you're exploring a new frontier. I know that some people were complaining that the exploration points they were really just non-existent in Mass Effect 3. It was mostly just missions collecting Reaper assets. I didn't have a problem with it. I actually kind of liked it. I like to get on a main mission. Some of my favorite portions from the previous games were going to Ilium and seeing what the Asari world was like. Going to Omega and seeing how the underworld of the galaxy looks like and Arya Talok ruling over these people. And then the Citadel, that was cool too. The different areas. They had the Presidium where the rich people lived. They had the lower levels of the wards where the, the poor lived. And you know, those were some of the coolest moments to me in Mass Effect. Hopefully they find a nice balance where I can be pleased and those people can be pleased. Not those other sections where it's like you're dealing with Cer- well, in the first game when you dealt with Cerberus. Those things like that, those were okay, but they weren't my favorite. So I'm hoping they find a nice balance between those two. I mean, overall, I'm super excited for Mass Effect Andromeda. I mean, I can't wait for when it comes out holiday 2016. Damn it! I'm willing to give the developers the extra time they need. I mean, I want them to bring us a banger, okay? Something that I will be playing for years and years and years to come until they release a new installment, okay? That's what I'm looking for, Mass Effect Andromeda. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Were you guys excited to see Mass Effect Andromeda? What's been your favorite thing in E3 so far? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, of course, all the time. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Also, if you guys are interested, check out this awesome short film by me and my partner in crime, JX Beast. It's awesome. It's called Virtual Reality. There's a lot of cool stuff inside of it. Hoping that you guys will give it a look. I'll leave it in the description box below. And that's it for today, guys. I'm the Messiah. And I'll catch you later.